ESPN doing ESPN things. Hey, hey, it's Brickhouse here with another video. Um, on top of the ESPN on ESPN crime this week between Sam Ponder. Um, I already forget what her name is. Sarah Spain. Um, and Sage Steele got involved with that, supporting her friend, Sam Ponder. Uh, now we have this, because you know, this is the start of Pride Month. From Breitbart.com. ESPN to raise trans flag on campus for Pride Month. ESPN has announced that it will raise a transgender pride flag at its Connecticut headquarters on Thursday in celebration of Gay Pride Month. And out kicks Clay Travis blasted the network for a direct attack on any employee who might disagree with the transgender agenda. Yes, ESPN is basically giving their employees that don't agree with the transgender agenda a big F you. Now, in my humble opinion, I don't think we need to have all these celebratory months for any identity, race, creed, color, ethnicity, you name it. Aren't we all Americans? I mean, we're all Americans. Whether we're black, Asian, Hispanic, Italian, German, Irish, Scottish, British, uh, whether we identify as a man, a woman, cat, dog, you name it, we're all Americans. Travis shared a screenshot of ESPN's announcement on his website that was raising what it is calling the ESPN Equal Flag. ESPN will host a trans pride flag raise on campus tomorrow as part of Pride Month. It comes as the company advocates for men to play in women's sports and refuses to support Sam Ponder, who was called a bigot for supporting women only in women's sports. Travis wrote, This flag is not the usual gay pride flag. It's newly designed to incorporate trans rights and feels like a direct attack on any employee who doesn't support men in women's sports, he added. Travis was not exactly correct. That flag is newly designed. The flag appears to be a the Progress Pride flag, which was created in 2018 by so-called non-binary artist Daniel Quasar. That incorporates several Pride flags together, including the transgender flag, the LGBT flag, and brown and black stripes for gay communities of color. All to represent inclusion and progression. As to an attack on its employees, Travis is referring to ESPN personality Samantha Ponder's recent support to maintain the integrity of women's sports by banning men who claim to be transgender women from competing in women's sports. Ponder came under attack by the leftist sports media for several tweets in which she supported women's sports activist Riley Gaines and others who were working to advance legislation to keep men out of women's sports. I barely said anything publicly about this issue, and I've had so many people message me, stop me in the street to say thank you, plus tell me stories about girls who were afraid to speak up for fear of lost employment, being called hateful. It is not hateful to demand fairness in sports for girls. She's absolutely 100% correct. Unsurprisingly, for instance, ultra-leftist sports columnist Nancy Armour raced to her keyboard to call Ponder a bigot for advocating for fairness in women's sports. Ponder, though, is not backing off. On Wednesday, she tweeted, Biology is not bigotry. Loving people does not require the absence of boundaries. Ponder is not the only ESPN on-air employee to speak out. In support of Riley Gaines, ESPN broadcaster Sage Steele has also expressed opposition to transgenders in women's sports. Are there any other women with public platforms willing to stand up for Riley Gaines and the millions of female athletes? Or do we only stand for those who fit certain narratives? Ladies, where are you? Media Hollywood, hello? We must come together on this. And I gotta tell you, 
like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not a proponent of all these monthly celebrations for gender, ideology, race, creed, color, ethnicity. I'm not a fan of them. And the reason why I'm not a fan of them isn't because I'm a bigot, isn't because I'm a homophobe, isn't because I'm transphobic, isn't because I'm an ist. It's because we're all American. We all are part of the greatest freaking country in the world. And all this stuff does, it is get us going at each other's throats and segregates us as, as groups where we really should not be segregated. So tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Feel free, share your opinion. Whether you agree with me or disagree with me, share your opinion. I'd love to see what you guys have to say about this. Uh, if you would take the time out, please like this video, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Subscribe, share, hit the notification bell to get notified when my videos go live here on YouTube. Also, catch me over on Rumble, as well as over on Odyssey. And as always, I thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you later.